Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name's Grady. Guys, there is just 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 three weeks left <laughs> until this game comes out, finally. Now before I get stuck into this Resident Evil showcase reaction uh, for the April editions, just want to point out that there are gonna be timestamps down below. So if you do want to get stuck into the juicy bits, you know where to look, alright? Go look in the description bar and you'll see all the timestamps there for you. But uh yeah, we've got 15 seconds on the clock. Don't know really what to expect here. Um I've seen that there's a mercenaries mode, I think. That's interesting times, but uh, apart from that, I know nothing. We've got three seconds, two, one, here we go. Straight in there. Let's see what Capcom's got for us. No. Hopefully not the too many uh, nothing but blood new reveals. And Can someone please tell me he what says. the hell is going on here? Well, well, Ethan Winters. What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's see what you're really made of. What was that, the factory? <laughs> like a cave area. There was some talk about Eisenberg's factory, something like that. I'm not sure if that was that, but hey everyone, that was definitely and new. Welcome to the second Resident Evil showcase. Thank you. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and I am so excited to be your guide through today's experience. We're going to hear from the Resident Evil team today, and they have so much new content for you. Another trailer, Resident Evil Verse, new gameplay, <laughs> and more news for Resident Evil Village, which is right around the corner, coming to us on May 7th. Oh, they got the, the family there doing that seance or something, that series, ritual. And from one of the first traders. That, so stay tuned. To kick us off, I have the honor of introducing Jun Takeuchi, the executive is. producer of the franchise. Come on, Jun. Hi, I'm Jun Takeuchi, executive producer on Resident Evil. Due to your continued support, the franchise has reached its 25th anniversary. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. You've got a lot of my money, mate. <laughs> supported by so many of our fans. When I look back over the years and think about when we first started this project with Shinji Mikami... Okay, there's like subtitles, but there's a narrator kind of saying slightly different things here, and I'm really not wrong, but... Even now, Same effect. I want to see the series continue to succeed through your continued support. No problem. Now we prepared the latest trailer for our upcoming title, Resident Evil Village. It's a game jam-packed full of entertainment and horror. And it has a huge breath of Yeah, this narration so and the subtitles are play. throwing me off here. Well then, without further ado, please enjoy. We'll see. I've got some more books. World premiere. Alright, what you got then? As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. And in death, glory to Mother Miranda. The four families there, whatever that is, the four sects, four groups. Oh, but you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> Rose, where are you? Hello. So that woman's name is Rose. Survivors out there, come to my. That young woman. Because we've been told, I'm sure we were told some time ago, that we're going to play as that woman. Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Stop. It's like Eisenberg. You'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Ah, get a bit more of a glimpse into that. <laughs> it's one of the first things we saw of her in that first trailer. All that's left? There is no one left! We can bust out with this. This is very intriguing. Gentlemen. Lycans and gentlemen. We right. thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Tomorrow we're we'll all be dead. No, let me go! This looks so much more grandiose. It's seven, for sure. Why? Chris. Four. 
Wow, that looks like a lot of content in this game. I know that's what they said, but just seeing it there. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Oh, don't give too too much you away. Mia. Don't, you don't. Do me and finish the job. Do you know what I mean? Just don't show us too much. Let us experience it. Do you know what? I could have done without that last bit. But uh, no, that was a good trailer. That's all I want to see now. I know there's some gameplay coming up and stuff. Some announcements maybe. But that was there that was so much to break down there. I know that we was good. wait to find out what Chris's involvement is. Now in the last showcase, we promised that We're a bit more pumped now. coming this spring. Some things me it won't involve casual tea time with Lady Dimitrice, but I don't think the internet would mind that. Let's pass it to Siyoshi Kanda, yeah, sure. producer on Resident Evil Village, to tell us more about that upcoming gameplay demo. Kanda-san, mm. thank you so much for joining us again. Kind of figured it'd be out now. I'm watching this on replay. Pretty much another 13, 14 hours since it was premiered, this showcase, but I haven't checked the thank game store to see if there's a demo, a new demo yet. Hi, everyone. I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village has been created with the concept of a beautiful yet terrifying village in mind. And we have poured our passion into creating this experience for our fans. Of course, it also has the combat, resource management, and horror elements you expect from Resident Evil. We've also made sure there's plenty of gameplay content as well. In the previous showcase, we told you that we'd have another demo ready for you across multiple platforms. You did say that. You did promise. Well, I'm happy to announce that the next demo experience will be available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Steam, and Stadia. Yes. In lieu of the game when? event that we were unable to hold, we have prepared a special day where you can experience Resident Evil Village. A day? Here are the details on when it will be Europe. available. Mason, what? Up to 60 minutes. Oh, it's you one of them demos. 60 minutes to explore both the village and castle. It's so close to the release. Oh, I'm not playing this. I'm not playing You're this. You're free to spend one full hour for both stages. Nah. Or choose which one you want to play. Nah. It's up to you while you spend your survival horror experience. It's like a practice run. I'm not. And it's like, four owners nah. will also get early access as well. That's a little bit disappointing from my perspective. Eight hours in village. What? We have the details for you here. What? What's this? Castle demo. Europe. April 25th. In honor of Resident Evil Village being the eighth major installment of the franchise. What's going on here? You will have an eight-hour window to try out the demo for 30 minutes. Right. Okay, Okay. this is all right. Players will have early access to the village section first, followed by the castle section. This is better. I'm still a little bit confused, but... Access players, feel free to also stream and share your playthrough to the world. If I can get access to it, I will. Help, <laughs> we will be able to show off the demo to everyone. And for the multiple platform demo, we hope that all players from all over the world will be able to enjoy the Resident Evil Village demo. Finally, players will be able to pre-door the demo ahead of time. Okay. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners are able to pre-download the demo starting today. Right, okay. Please visit our official website. So we won't actually get to play the demo we until next week, is it? upcoming sneak peek at the next generation of survival horror. What's that, Saturday or Sunday? That's a weird, um... Oh man, I've got to watch this to all back time. again. Do I spend it in the village or the castle? Oh, okay. Let us know what your plan is. Okay. But in the meantime... Interesting, giving you a choice. This all went by. I was and trying to process it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get director Mori Masasato to tell us what he knows. <sighs> Jam-pack this stuff, I'll tell you that. The world premieres. Who are you? Hi everyone. I'm director Mori Masasato. I'd like to take this You're opportunity the director. to tell you all about the much requested extra game mode included in Resident Evil Village. Here we go then. The mercenary. This will be interesting. Isn't this like the Those first time mercenaries has been in first person? It's a beloved extra mode featured in various games in the franchise. It's best known for high-speed arcade-style action. 
where you have to reach the goal within a certain time limit. Of course, we've also added some new touches to it. So let's dive into some of the additions we've made. All right, but don't show us too much. Welcome. The first change is that we've added a shop. In this version of the Mercenaries, you can access the Duke's Emporium between areas. You're free to purchase new weapons with the money you collect, or upgrade your arsenal to fit your playstyle. Interesting. I saw you eyeing that one. Weapons modifications. And we'll do thank you for your patronage. Start. You'll get yourself a nice bonus. I think it peaked. The mercenaries really peaked for me anyway. You can in Resident Evil 5. To be just as fast that was at its best. So far. Clear. Customizations. You'll have to consider which weapons you'll take into each stage and how you'll customize them. With There's plenty of upgrades there, it seems, for these weapons, which is good. Hopefully, you won't be able to customize it all on your first playthrough. I like that. You know, you really have to make your choices. But we'll see. Abilities. What's this about? Choose an ability. Shotgun master, adrenaline, out of reach. Long distance attacks do more damage. The damage of handguns. Modifiers such a or increase your movement speed. They can also make your guard stronger, each increasing the player's capabilities. Acquire new abilities to employ your own strategies. This is already better than our Everse, I can tell you that much. That's not saying much though. If you love our Everse, go cry about it somewhere else. It's, uh, not even played it. I don't need to play that game. The Mercenaries game. in Resident Evil Village is a rich gameplay experience, full of surprises. With special rewards for those who persevere. If you're looking for an additional challenge, we hope you're excited for this extra mode. Yeah, no hand-holding. Make the trophies, you know, differentiate everyone from skill, you know what I mean? Packed with content. So As we it hope should everyone be. everyone is looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. No problem, mate. My pleasure. Now, that was uh, interesting. I look forward to playing that. It's hard to tell at the moment, but it does look good. It does look if interesting. If you haven't already heard, Resident Evil has reached an impressive milestone. On March 22nd, the franchise celebrated its 25th go. anniversary. And like so many of you, I've been a fan since practically day one. Together, we've watched the franchise evolve from a series of survival horror games to a big umbrella of video games, movies, toys, board games, and more. Resident Evil already she is sweet. One of the many ways don't know what she's like in real life, but she's cute. Lots of you probably tried the open beta she's very pleasant to look month, at. But don't forget, and listen Resident to. Evil Reverse will be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. Yeah, because if, if you want to fork up money for that, you're an idiot. <laughs> in the video game industry as a whole. Let's hear from some industry powerhouses here to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. She's on. She's on show there. Like you can tell. Congratulate the Resident oh, there he is. Evil team on their 25th anniversary. 25 years is a long time. It's been a true pleasure watching Capcom embrace. Last time I saw this guy, he was giving up the specs like a one-hour stream for the PlayStation 5. Play. Couldn't understand half of it. If well, more than that to be fair, but uh, and I can't wait to see yeah, what Resident he's kind of Village calming on PlayStation. So he's looking forward to it. Hazard 25年おめでとうございます。Who is this guy? Mario 1 が出た時、初代プレイステーションの売り上げがバーンと伸びたのを。I know his name just came up, but what does he work on? そしてバイオ 7 では PS VR で VR の素晴らしい体験を届けていただきました。ありがとうございます。I recognize his happy face. ますます進化し続けるバイオハザード。これからも Is he the guy that announced Bloodborne? Hello, I'm Ashley Swodowski. I'm the character art director at Naughty Dog. Uh, I wanted to first congratulate all of the developers um, for 25 years uh, of amazing, amazing Resident Evil titles. Sure. Um, I hope that no matter what game you touched or what part of the game you were responsible for, um, you've brought inspiration to so many people over the years, myself included. So thanks so much, guys. And again, congratulations. Hello, my name is Siobhan Reddy, and I am the studio director at Media Molecule. 
Uh, Want to just start out by saying huge congrats to everybody who's ever worked on a Resident Evil. I skipped this bit um, of the uh, reaction one, um, as well. Don't worry about incredible it. Incredible franchise. <laughs> Um, I hope you're super proud of yourselves um, and, um, you know, really enjoying kind of seeing... It is nice to kind of see, you know, people franchise has sort of developed or walks of life, you know, appreciate the games years, wherever you kind of, awesome. so you know, started out, you know, you. I started writing the first game. But, uh, you know, a lot of people started on four, five, seven. It's fast, this series, Infinite Darkness, they don't really care about this. But uh, we'll, we'll indulge. Producer on live action and anime entertainment for Resident Evil. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the series. Yep. Having worked as a programmer on the first title and as producer on several titles over the years, it's amazing to see how far the franchise has come. Again, with these subtitles and narrations, it's messing with my head. Business, and it's thanks to the love and support from the I just look at the guy and listen to the narration. To all of you, thank you so much. Now, we have something new to show you today from one of our latest projects. Okay. Please sit back and enjoy. Kurasai! I'd love to learn Japanese. It sounds like it's such a satisfying language, but it does seem really hard. Never gotten clearance to land that fast before. There he is. Be Leon. The version I really don't like. Leon? Might be in the minority there, but. Just look at this guy in six. He gets everyone killed. I can't get anyone to go on he can't do his job right. <laughs> He's very bad at his job. I gotta go. Don't do anything stupid. Hey, Leon. That outfit doesn't suit you. I was just thinking that. Literally. Let's get the president to the bunker. Are you going to save this president this time, Leon? <laughs> Nothing going on in here. Totally passive about this, but uh, it's not for me, I don't think. I'm yeah. happy we're finally able to share the latest trailer for Resident Evil Infinite Darkness with you today. Starring Leon it's on Netflix, I'll probably end up watching it anyway, I don't have to buy it, you know, I've already got my subscription. Two years after the events of Resident Evil 4, right, okay. the outbreak is happening in the White House, and the president is none other than the father of Ashley Graham from Resident Evil 4. He's just one of the many characters that we'll be introducing along the way. So this takes Please place before tuned. 6 then? Resident Evil Infinite Darkness right will be that? airing on Netflix worldwide in July 2021. And I have one more Not long to wait for that. For July? Related to the live months. action reboot of Resident Evil. Filming in Toronto has wrapped up, and we're in the middle of creating the creatures in CGI. So please stay tuned for more information, including the release date. I want to see Until animatronics. Thank you that would make watching. me happy. I don't want it all to be CGI. I understand it's, there's going to be CGI in there. That's, you know. But I would love to see some animatronics in that Resident Evil movie. Please. Oh, hang on. I think I've seen this as well, very briefly. Um, I haven't seen this particular trailer, but it's a Dead by Daylight. Yeah. Add on for Dead by Daylight. Great game, Dead by Daylight. I've played a lot of it. Hi. On behalf of everybody here at Behavior. Just listening to that music again is um, quite nostalgic in a weird way. Over the years, our very own 4v1 multiplayer action game, Dead by Daylight has become the Hall of Fame of Horror. And today, I'm the excited great, to say though. Resident Evil will soon be joining our universe. That's cool. Now tune in to our fifth anniversary broadcast on May the 25th for the full reveal of the Resident Evil chapter coming to DVD. Oh, who would, they, who would they include? Mr. In Rex? In the meantime, if you're up for it, I suggest you get some practice in before the chapter comes into the fog. Because, look, you have two choices here. Kill or be killed. It's your call. Ah, maybe I'll get back into the old Dead by Daylight. It is a good game. Well, we're not quite finished yet. Here's one more announcement that's taking Resident Evil to a brand new point of view. Let's take a look. Point of view? Perspective? What's going on here? <laughs> we'll find out. Here we go. Last World Premieres. VRs. Hi, I'm Mike Morishita. 
executive producer at Facebook. Resident Evil, the franchise that changed the way we think about video games, is still going strong after 25 years. Congratulations, Capcom, on this incredible milestone. Okay, a lot of people congratulating it. Now let's rewind for a moment. Four. I remember when Resident Evil 4 launched in 2005. It was amazing, brilliant. Nobody had ever seen a game like it before. True. And it remains at the pinnacle of the survival horror genre. In the 16 years since the launch of Resident Evil 4, the gaming industry has evolved. Survival horror, I wouldn't call it survival horror at all. The market. And we've been VR. Resident Evil 4 and VR. VR could be enhanced for a modern audience. I'm Mike Verdue, VP of Content at Facebook Reality Labs. This is interesting. Labs. I'm excited to announce that Capcom, Oculus Studios, is this the remake Furniture they were talking Studios about? Are partnering to bring Resident Evil 4 to Quest 2. We're thrilled about this game. We can't wait for you to experience the world of Resident Evil in a new. No, it can't be because it's, it's only immersive. A comes with a first-person perspective and will bring new richness and depth to the Resident Evil 4 experience you know and love. Uh, this You'll is be interesting. Able to step inside the game for the first time. And there's some Tune really. Tune in to the Oculus Gaming Showcase next week, April 21st, for more details on Resident Evil 4 VR. How we brought this title to this new medium. And you can check out some additional gameplay footage as well. <laughs> you can tune in on the Oculus Facebook So it's not for page a PlayStation VR, Twitch. it's only available for Oculus or something? Yeah, all these moments, man. Fight, totally. Fighting the uh, El Gigante. And that scary guy, that, that right hand of Salazar, that'd be terrifying. The Regenerators. <laughs> and that's it for our showcase. I'm confused. Let's recap the exciting news from today's event. Resident Evil Village releases on May 7th. We know that much. The experience will be available for a limited time. Limited time each demos. Week up to the game each launch. week. PlayStation okay. owners can pre-download the demo starting today. Preload today. I will do that. Also announced with a first look at gameplay. This fan favorite will be included with the game. And finally, to celebrate 25 years of the franchise, we have Resident Evil Infinite Darkness coming to Netflix and new upcoming collaborations with partners outside of Capcom. Thanks again for spending some time with us today for another <laughs> that version exciting looks funny there. <laughs> I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and it's been an honor being I saw here some, with you again. I saw someone with a baby event. then, I think. Have a great day. Against the white backlash. Thank you very much. She is very sweet and cute. I do enjoy looking bye at her. Bye-bye. Don't show too much. <laughs> another time. Is he hooked up or something? That's it, right? That's it. We are done with the reactions. PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Steam, Stadia, Capcom. That's it. That was a decent showcase. I'm actually surprised they didn't show just so much new stuff. You know, they showed some stuff there that was new, but um, they didn't just bombard you with all this stuff. Like, hey, man, you know? So a lot of people were like, you know, I can't even, you know, this game just doesn't feel like it's gotten enough advertisement you know but I kind of like that I don't want to know too much but yeah that was a decent decent showcase all right I think I've got it into my head guys I think I've got it into my head so I've just rewatched that segment from the showcase where it details the three demos coming out we've got a I've made some notes here just so I've got it in my head but I still I'm still a bit confused about some stuff so we've got a limited demo which is coming out on May 2nd at 2 a.m. And it's 60 minutes to play, as much as you can. And then there is, before that, a village demo, which gives you 30 minutes to play, but you've only got 8 hours to play it, because it's released on April 18th, which I think is this Sunday, um, between 7pm and 3am. Or you can wait a little bit longer for April 25th to play the castle segment, and that's 30 minutes as well. And again, you've got 8 hours to play this before it's wiped off the map. Um, I'm not sure... It sounded like you can only play one of three of these. But I, again, I, I could, could have misunderstood this. Uh, it's all a bit lost in translation. Maybe I'm a little bit thick, I don't know. But if it's my choice right now, I'm going to be playing that village demo. This Sunday, I think it is. 100%. Um, I don't really want to go into that castle area because... Well, from what we know, the village segment comes up first. Or at least before the castle area. So... You know, again, I don't want to spoil too much for myself, but that's interesting. That's an interesting way of doing the uh, the demos there. So, um, yeah, it's 
quite a lot of pressure, you know. It sucks if you're away from the house and you haven't got your PlayStation 4 or 5 on you, that kind of thing. And as for you Xbox guys out there, unluckies, unluckies, guess you should have made the switch to the old PlayStation. <laughs> um, but where did they get to play it? I'm not too sure. Did it even say on there? I'm looking at one of the screenshots now and it doesn't say anything about the, uh, the demos coming out for the Xbox Series X and whatnot. It's coming out, but we get early access being uh, PlayStation loyalists, you know. That's what you get, you know, when a company values their uh, their customers. <laughs> um, there's a certain level of truth there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this reaction video. I do appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up for me. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. There's plenty of content coming out this year. So please look forward to that. And also, with regards to this particular showcase and the game itself, sound off down below. What are you looking forward to? What are you not looking forward to? With regards to the demos... Which one are you going to be playing? If any, sound off down below, please. That's what it's there for. So thank you very much once again, and I will see you guys on the next video.